you know, I was surprised when I when I noticed you mentioned Allah that you're a Muslim after that video. Actually, it sounds like computer talking. Let me make a couple points here. First of all, what the heck gave you the idea that uh, light, everything's made up of light? Who the heck gave you that idea? You see light. Light is a production of frequency. Do you understand that? Certain chemicals, certain minerals, these are made up of chemicals, acids and such, all have their own properties that reflect photons or don't. You understand that? You know, okay. What dark, what black is, is actually absence of light. What light is, for instance, you take all the colors of the rainbows, all, every single color you know, put them all together equally, and it'll come out white. Why? Because it's light. You get it? If you put all those spectrums together, which are actually light, then you're going to get pure light, which would be white. Correct? Okay. Photons, which are what light is, it's a particle, does have weight and mass. That's what a photon is. It's a, it's a particle. Being a particle, it has mass. Do you understand that? Okay. Singularity just means a single point of existence. You're right about that. No one said that the singularity or the Big Bang came from nothing. No one said that. There's no scientific minority says that. In fact, the scientific community is a majority, as opposed to you creationists. Maybe you won't call yourself a creationist because uh, you might have a fixation about that. I'm not sure. Your explanation of science is, you know, you seem like you know what you're talking about follow along that video, but you honestly don't because you're still under the assumption that there is a, a magical entity that created everything out of its own mind or whatever. How can, how can you believe in a magical being that created everything and not believe in the natural, physical properties of science? I don't get that. It's just, it's just ignorant. I'm just so as far as to say it's stupid. Only stupid, psychotic people believe that kind of stuff. Do you realize that schizophrenics, their whole symptom, whole symptomatic response is, is due to a stimulus that they believe is caused by a, a deity, a god, Jesus, or their Jesus? Or, you understand that? It's called a psychosis. People who believe in gods and myths and magical creatures, <clears throat> if they're not psychotic, then they've been brainwashed. Ever since they were a little child, everyone has believed, told them there's there's a god, there's a Santa, there's an Easter bunny, there's a So that's my response. And I understand you're all gonna be real angry at me because you're probably gonna probably compare me with like, well the Bible goes blah on. I don't care. I don't believe that damn monkey that's stupid. Quran. Anybody who would follow a book that tells them to cover their women because they're wicked does not get my vote to explain science. <laughs> Do you understand that? Do you? That you actually gave up your whole life, your personality to a myth and now you're trying to explain that, and then you tell somebody that you have seven PhDs. What the heck is that all about? That's pretty impossible. And we know one man that could do that, and that was Isaac Asimov, and you are not. You're more like a George Bush. <laughs> anyway, I hope you all have fun. This was wonderful. I'll see you on the rebound, okay? Well, I'll be back again.
you you put another one of those silly videos. I'll tell you a few more things. Bye.